Next, we will consider an example of a continuous random variable and practice some useful skills. Let x be a continuous random variable with the probability density curve described by the graph of this linear function on the interval from 0 to 4. Easy to check that the graph satisfies the criteria for a probability density curve, as it is above the x-axis, and its area is the area of a right triangle, with the base 4 and the height 1 half. And the area can be found using the formula for the area of a right triangle, which is of course equal to 1. Let's find the probability of x being equal to 2. As we previously discussed, the probability of a continuous random variable being equal to a single value is equal to 0. To find the probability that x is less than 2, we will look for the area under the curve between 0 and 2. This region is a triangle with the base 2 and the height 1 fourth. The area can be found using the formula for the area of a right triangle and is equal to 0 0.25 or 25%. To find the probability that x is less than 3, we will look for the area under the curve between 0 and 3. This region is a triangle with the base 3 and the height 3 eighths. The area can be found using the formula for the area of a right triangle and is equal to 0 0.5625 or 56.25%. To find the probability that x is greater than 3, we will look for the area under the curve between 3 and 4. This region is a trapezoid with the bases 3 eighths and 1 half and the height equal to 1. The area can be found using the formula for the area of a right trapezoid and is equal to 0 0.4375 or 43.75%. Alternatively, we could have used the complementary rule to compute the same probability as 1 minus the probability of x being less than 3, which we already computed previously. So the answer is again 43.75%. To find the probability that x is between 2 and 3, we will look for the area under the curve between 2 and 3. This region is a trapezoid with bases 1 fourth and 3 eighths and the height equal to 1. The area can be found using the formula for the area of a right trapezoid and is equal to 0 0.3125 or 31.25%. Alternatively, we could have used the subdivision rule to compute the same probability, as the probability of x being less than 3 minus the probability of x being less than 2, both of which we already computed previously. So the answer is again 31.25%. It is worth noting that the probability of x being greater than 5 is 0, because the probability density curve has no area in that region. Also, the probability of x being greater than negative 2 is 1, because the probability density curve has its entire area in this region, which is by definition equal to 1. We observed an example of how to find the probabilities of a continuous random variable, the skill that we will continue practicing for a variety of continuous random variables in the future.